Hey everyone, so today I wanted to talk about something that's quite close to my heart and that's writing. I've always wanted to be a writer ever since I was around 8 or 9 and I read the Harry Potter books. Yep, I am one of those nerds, uh, but I've grown out of my obsession but at the time I was like overly obsessed and my first ever novel that I attempted to write was very much based on the Harry Potter series but it was terribly, terribly, terribly written and <laughs> there are still some lines that my mum will quote at me now uh, because she finds them hilarious and she just thinks they are so funny and they just stick in her mind. So I suppose even though I did write terribly, I did something right, I managed to create memorable quotes. Another thing I tried to do was put actual pictures in the middle of the text because obviously to reiterate the fact that the girl was looking after an owl, you need a picture of an owl. Okay, so as I said, I've always wanted to be a writer ever since I was eight or nine and I started writing my first novel. Since then, my writing has progressed quite a lot. My current novel that I'm working on, I started when I was 14 and the first chapter I haven't changed at all since then and the writing that's in it now is a lot more mature and written properly. Like, if you read the two pieces together, then you can see how I've matured as a writer but it's still funny to read through it as I just sit there and I cringe and I go oh my god what was I thinking but if you don't have moments like that then you can't progress and you can't get better if you, no one's perfect to start off with so it's always good to have moments where you think oh my god what was I doing I suppose for me my love of writing was nurtured by my English teacher at school he was always encouraging me to read even the classes even stuff that wasn't about the classes and he also encouraged me with my writing I remember with my English coursework my creative writing English coursework first attempt which was meant to be a short story ended up being 16 or 18 A4 pages which is an awful lot for a short story um, I didn't get a great mark on that but then when I read it I had to write a final chapter for Lord of the Flies um, for anyone who doesn't know what Lord of the Flies is Basically, a plane crashes on an island and a group of boys get stranded there and eventually they turn into like some sort of Nazi parallel with people with the main party killing off the weaker ones. And I ended the book with a rather disturbing scene and I made my English teacher cry, my mum cry and my grandma cry because the way it was written just evoked the emotion and I think that was the first time I realised how powerful and how strong my writing actually was and it made me realise that it was something that I could realistically achieve and I've been striving towards it ever since. As I was saying, my current novel that I'm working on, I've been working on since I was 14, which is a very long time when I think about it, but at the same time I really love the story idea behind it and I really want other people to know it as well. Um, I was attempting to do NaNoWriMo this year, which was the fifth time I've attempted to do it and I rewrote the majority of my story just to try and make it have a better feel and I got halfway which isn't bad because that's the best I've ever done but now I'm determined to finish the manuscript before the end of the year and I'm giving myself a goal of 40,000 words before I go home for the Christmas holidays which is in two weeks on well it's in two weeks and five days ish depending on when this uploads and I think that's a realistic goal. I've got around 15,000 words to write, so that's like 7,500-ish per week, which is very doable if I just sit down and write, but it's finding the time to write at the moment with travelling to and from the work and working and doing the private classes, but I feel like I'm making excuses. So I'm going to force myself to do it, even if I only write a couple of hundred words a night and then at the weekend write the majority of it. But I am determined because I really want people to read this and to give me their feedback on it and I also want people to be able to experience something that's really important to me like this is the main thing I've been working on for the majority of my life and I want people to read it and to tell me what they think and give me honest feedback so if any of you who I talk to on a regular basis are interested in reading the final manuscript when it's done um, then let me know and I will try and get a copy to you when I've finally finished it which will hopefully be in the new year and because now I've said that I'm looking for people to read it, I kind of need to get it done and somewhat edited before I send it out. So I'm giving myself a goal, <laughs> which is what I always need because I cannot work properly unless I set myself a deadline and I need a fixed deadline. So 
I'm gonna try and get it done for the 1st of January. Also, I'd love to hear what your big dreams are. What did you want to do when you were younger and what are you currently working towards to achieve and be successful at? Something that's really motivated you to do what you're doing now. Leave a comment below and let me know. And also let me know on my Facebook, Twitter tum and Tumblr page. I will leave links to all those down below as well. Um, I'm also taking part in a photo challenge this month, which is on Instagram, so I'll leave a link to my Instagram below as well. And also, I'm doing Vlogmas, so I'm trying to vlog every day up until Christmas Day. So I'll leave a link to my blog below as well, where you can check all that out. Um, don't forget to like this video if you liked it, and also subscribe if you want to see more of my videos. But until next time, I hope you're all well, and I shall see you later. Bye! <laughs> Uh, what else do I remember? Whilst I was uploading my videos to edit, I remembered some videos that I took last week. Um, and this is proof as to why Spain is not always sunny and beautifully warm like everyone imagines. At the time of filming this, my birthday is currently an hour and a half away. That's it.